Welcome back to Teresa's Dead. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. I have an awful garbage, filthy mouth, so viewer discretion is advised. But if you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is definitely not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul, but I'll remember our time fondly. Hello, my darlings. I... <sighs> Where do I begin with this video? I don't know what I'm gonna title it yet, <laughs> but uh, I'm a clown. And I, listen, I admit that, you know, I talk a big game here and there, but at the end of the day, I am a clown and I make clown-like purchases and do clown-like things. And that's what today's video is all about. With the exception of maybe two products, everything else is pretty clown behavior. Uh, really two things are clown behavior. The rest of it's like, oh, okay, that makes sense. I, I bought it because I, I wanted to try it. But let's just say that your girl had one too many Japanese old fashions and I decided to like, you know, take a trip into Sephora. It's really the convenience. It's in Disney Springs. It's very, very nice. Anyway, I just decided, you know what? I'm gonna buy all the things that I should talk to. <laughs> And I did just that. Um, so in today's video, oh, I know, I hate me too. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about the new hour, <laughs> the new hourglass, whatever this is, the Veil Hydrating Skin Tint, the Huda Beauty Mascara. We got some stuff from Rare Beauty, as well as a blush and a, I about to say a highlighter. This is not a highlighter, this is concealer concealer for makeup forever. So some of these things are clowns, some of them are not, but it's just more fun to be clickbaiting. Anyway, <laughs> anyway, um, hi, I don't even know. Like, I, I, there's no excuse. <laughs> Next video, I'm gonna go uh, Jaclyn Hill style and just wear a gray hoodie and just apologize. Uh, closing up shop. <laughs> Let me know your thoughts about that down below. Mine are just like, you fuck, fuck, whatever. <laughs> Just wacky jacky. Anyway, my skin's red. We need to prep this bitch. I don't know what's going on over here. I don't know. I don't know what this is. Every day I wake up with some new fucking ailment here. <laughs> this place is trying to kill me. Okay, so let's prime the face. Now I also should say that I didn't skin, I didn't skin check this. I didn't swatch this. Listen, I was all about the supermarket sweep kind of a moment, okay? Just throwing shit into a basket and running before a gaggling dance group ran in there and just fucking was just touching all the goddamn lipsticks. Anyway, uh, so I don't know if this is gonna work, but we're gonna try it. This is, I got it in the shade three. Why did I get it in the shade three? <laughs> obviously, obviously I was feeling good. <laughs> uh, I am pale as a ghost. This should be fun. All right, anyway, how are y'all? I am, I don't know, I don't know how I am. I don't wanna talk about it. <laughs> I just wanna come on here and have fun. Can we do that? Let's have fun. If you're asking yourself, what are you putting on your face? Obviously you're new here uh, because I'm putting on the thing that literally gives me life. This is from Ritual Defeat. This is their thorn oil. If you're a dry, dry bitch like me, you're gonna love this shit. You have no idea how many bottles I go through. That's how much I use this stuff. And if you ever wanna try anything from Ritual Defeat, whether it's their thorn oil or their new lip oils, use the code Teresa Tan at checkout. You could save some coinage. Let's see how this is gonna work. I was gonna throw a color corrector down. You know what? Uh, well, let's not do that. I'm gonna throw a color corrector down. I just kinda wanna see how this is gonna react with the thorn oil. But this bottle is fun. It kinda, it looks like I'm gonna about to dye my hair with it, but whatever. Oh. Oh, okay. You know what? That's not bad. That's not bad. I, why did I pick three? <laughs> Um, there is a slight yell. Is this supposed to be warm? <sighs> it's fine. I will say that it's actually a pretty decent match. Go drunk me, fuck yeah. All right. <laughs> drunk me knows what I want. <laughs> to be a hypocrite, that's what. No, this looks pretty good. Like, it's definitely not covering my redness all the way, but it's doing a pretty good job though. I wonder if I could have went a little bit lighter, just a scotch, but we're gonna make this work. That's like not bad. So like half this face, and then granted, I didn't go over it with a sponge or anything like that. I'm just kind of pressing it and massaging it into the skin with my fingies. And it looks pretty good. I don't I don't got any complaints about it. Ooh, is this gonna come with me to New York? Okay, I mean, it, there is a slight cast down here. Okay, it's a little orange. What the fuck? <laughs> it's a little orange. So maybe drunk me doesn't know what I want. <sighs> but it's okay though. Um, let's see, let's find just... Take a sponge. Okay, okay. That looks better. Yes, my redness is poking through, 
but it doesn't look terrible now. So I'm just gonna do the same thing on the other side. It's definitely giving your skin but better vibes, but not too good <laughs> because you still see the redness, uh, but not bad though. I wonder if I went in with a color corrector. Who knows? I'll have to try that again tomorrow. I'm just gonna throw on a little bit more, just like on my nose, back up here. I'm gonna get into all the areas that have some redness. I'm also gonna go over it with the concealer too. I do have that Makeup Forever concealer, so I'm kind of hoping that maybe that might cover up some of the redness. That's not bad, okay. <laughs> I like it. It's funny how it did leave a little bit of a cast, especially when dragging it down with my fingers, but once you add a sponge to the equation and you press that product in, fucking looks like my skin, okay. I like it. Looks good on my nose, it's not drying. My skin looks super healthy, so that's great. Okay, you know, usually I have shit to say about Hourglass, but like, I mean, other than their fucking horrible shade range. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, so we're gonna move on to concealer. This is Makeup Forever. This is the HD Skin. I have it in the shade 1.1N because I am uncooked chicken. And this is gonna be very, very white. Oh yeah, oh, very, very white. Very, very white. <laughs> but I think maybe, you know what? Let's, let's throw some up here too, over here. We're gonna see if this covers up the redness. Anyway, so it's been an interesting uh, news week. You know, I think between uh, Lizzo, <laughs> Jacqueline Hill closing her sh some of her shit down. Please tell me that some of y'all follow this Disney shit that's going on. I, I, I think that's probably the most shocking one of them all. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, go into a huge deep dive into like the Diz. I don't even know where to begin with that one. I don't even know where to begin with that one, but let's just say like, it's been pretty slow this summer. It ain't slow anymore. <laughs> like there's just so much shit happening. It's wild. So uh, if you want to kind of peruse how fucked up Disney people are, go for it. I thought the beauty community was pretty toxic. Disney community fucking wins. <laughs> like that one fucking wins for sure. I like this concealer. I don't love this concealer. I like it, but maybe it's because it's, I don't know, it kind of looks dry with a brush, so maybe with this sponge and kind of pushing the product down, maybe I might change my mind. It's kind of like dry, but I will say that it did a good job kind of covering some of my redness up here. So I'm just gonna just do that. And I'm gonna put just, just some right here. And I'll just put a little on my nose. Basically just covering my whole fucking face with concealer. <laughs> oh, you know what? I think it's one of those concealers that you can't let it sit you like have to kind of attack really fast because when I do this, it's not drying. Yeah, I no, I, I hate it. It's starting to settle on this one line that I have under my eye. God damn it, makeup forever. Why are you fucking with me like this? Ugh. I had hope for you, bitch. I was rooting for you. Coverage wise, I love, I love that. But it's just kind of comes off it comes off kind of dry. I don't know, like not in love with it. I mean, obviously this is a first impressions, but I don't know, you're not winning me over. I kind of want to just throw a little bit more of the hourglass shit on top of it, especially like right here. I don't know, it just looks so dry. What the fuck is going on? Coverage wise, A++, everything else, Mm, I fucking see, I guess. <laughs> I'm not, not loving it. That said, I'm gonna set my face really fast because the next products I have are all powder. So we can't put that on top of cream because on me, when I do that, it just, I fucked up. <laughs> like I look stupid, so nope. So I added a little bit of uh, the infallible powder. Oh, it's so fucking good. This is so good from L'Oreal. And then I also added Pixie by Petra bronzer in the shade Subtly Sun Touched, which I fucking love, I love, I love. So I do have two blush options. Um, and I was gonna go with the Give one, but I'm gonna hold off because I know I order, <laughs> I'm a clown. I ordered the new Natasha Denona palette. So whenever that comes, I'm gonna pair that with the uh, Give stuff. So today's video, we have two colors from Makeup Forever. So we have the Daring Candy blush, which is very, very red. Or we have the Bold Punch, which has a little bit of a shimmer to it, kind of pinky. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Oh, I hate this fucking concealer. It's already creasing, you bitch. Okay, we're gonna go in with this one. You know what? It's very, 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 very red. Like very, very, very red. Or Peachy Boy. I think I'm gonna go with Peach because I have to go outside today. Uh <laughs> 
I have to go outside today. I was gonna do a two-tone blush moment, but mom, I gotta go outside. So we're gonna go with the peach one. Actually, should I go with the peach one? No, fuck it. We're gonna go daring. We're gonna go in with a little bit of the red because obviously that's what people wanna see, right? They don't give a shit about a color that's always gonna look flattering on you, right? We wanna see the colors that are not gonna look flattering on you so we can make fun of you. Uh <laughs> I'm gonna go with daring candy. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was about to lay this on my face. Oh, okay. I'm, go <laughs> I'm going in with a very light hand. Wow. This is fucking pigmented. Holy shit. Okay. I mean, damn. Goddamn. Oh, thank God it blends. I'm gonna go in with a little bit more because I'm a glutton for punishment. Just a scotch. I'm like barely, I'm just doing that, literally that. Just tapping just tapping it in tap 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 tapping it in okay okay i mean i'm giving you a little like uh <laughs> like where are they now Candyland edition you know like i don't know what happened i don't know where my life went wrong you know that's that's what i, that's what I feel like i look like a little bit <laughs> Oh God. Literally in my head right now, I'm like starting to think about what happened to this person in Candyland and how they got like ousted by the community. And now they sell those weird leggings online that smell like eggs or whatever. Was it like Lulu, not Lululemon, but Lulu Row or some shit like that? In my mind, like this is playing. I'm like, I would watch that documentary. <laughs> I'm the fucking poster child for it, okay? Like what happened? <sighs> anyway, I like this blush, it's nice. <laughs> I like this blush. It's very pigmented. A little bit goes a long way. So if you are uh, worried that this is going to fuck up your day, don't because you can easily scale it back, which is really, really nice. And that's what we want in a blush. We just want to scale it back a little bit or sometimes go full on clown. Like it's really the choice is yours and you can do that with Makeup Forever. <laughs> now available at your local Sephora. All right, at least there's one Makeup Forever product that I'm liking today because that concealer is a nuisance and should be held uh, accountable and responsible. All right, so I'm gonna put on a little bit of highlighter and then we're gonna jump into some eye products, which I am excited. <laughs> the highlighter I use today is from Glam Light. This is the Hershey Cookies and Cream Highlighter. I am affiliated with them. If you're ever interested in checking out the brand, use the code. Whew garbage and you can save some money off your order and this is fantastic it's, it's the highlighter that i know and love from the brand so very very happy that i just look like a glowing alien slut goddess <sighs> that said let's move on to the eyes okay so i'm charting into weird territory today because remember when i <laughs> said on my makeup bingo like why the fuck would i want like a cream eyeshadow guess what your bitch did she got a cream eyeshadow uh <laughs> I really, I'm a clown, okay? I'm a clown, I do stupid shit. And I had Japanese old fashions. So this is what she looks like. I have it in the shade Wellbeing. Ooh, okay, I feel like I need to prime my eyes first. Let's prime my eyes. I have this in front of me, so I'm just gonna use a little bit of the soft, the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I go back and forth between this and the Kaleidos. Two-tone, true tone. I think it's two-tone, two-tone, true-tone. True-tone, I think is something else. I think that's L'Oreal. <laughs> Whatever, I go back and forth between that eye primer, but today we're just gonna use some NARS because it's sitting right in front of me and I don't feel like looking for it. Relatable content. I mean, I look kind of cute. Also, why does my nose look sunburned? I didn't I didn't put any like blush on my nose, but it looks like I did. And I think it's just because my nose has a red patch on it. Don't know what that's about. Whatever, I feel like I look holiday-ish. I like it, okay. Except the concealer, that concealer can go fuck itself. So. Okay, so I think what I can do is pretty much just paint this all over the lid. Now, I have hooded eyes, right? Like that, no shit. So the goal for me is to not have this look like it's creasing. And so far, so good, but I feel like I fucked up. <laughs> And I feel like I probably should have just added this to the lid. You know what it looks like? My eye just looks wet. It just looks like it's wet and it has like crumpled up shimmers on it. I don't know if I love this, but I'm going to keep building up the color. And I mean, I am, but I'm also so white. <laughs> anything like what is this product i want to be that girly okay i want to be like i just like this is my aesthetic and like i just do cream eyeshadows and i just can't do it and it's fine because that's how makeup is sometimes it works sometimes it doesn't i look like there's like crunchy oatmeal on <laughs> my eyelid and i fucking hate it i hate it i hate this um that should be my thumbnail <laughs> i have my little kid throwing a tantrum i'm sorry 
Okay, anyway, I wanna use a synthetic brush. I'm gonna use Angie's brush, it's a Singe Beauty. And I'm going to, okay, okay. Thank you, Angie. Thank you, Angie. Now it doesn't look like crusty oatmeal. <laughs> so this is blending it out better because that shit was like sitting in my crease and it just, yeah, I look like I needed a wellness check. I just, I can't. I can't but this though this looks better the good news is is that it's not creasing which is great but I don't know if I love it <laughs> so we're just gonna add a little more when in doubt just keep adding until you feel like it's okay <laughs> so we could be here all day <laughs> just saying but when you do add it it's a very very like light kind of pale pink it's pretty but a part of me wonders if I should have laid down probably a mat first just to give me a little bit more dimension instead of like this crunchy oatmeal that I got going on and then just really focus this product on the lid as like a shimmer. I probably that's what I probably should have done. But you know your girl. I like to do things the hard way. <laughs> I like to do things the incorrect way. Um, so, I mean, that's really why you watch anyway. And I have to say, I think I like it on this eye a little bit better. I don't know, this one just looks crunchy oatmeal on the side, but this one looks like seamless, smooth. Maybe it's the primer, it's just not liking. It looks better on this side. I don't know why. But you know, sometimes it happens with makeup. One day your eyes can just be like, <laughs> no. <laughs> and really look all kinds of fucked up. And then some days it looks amazing. So I think what I want to do is quit while I'm ahead because I don't think I can get, you know what it looks like actually? The more I look at the more I feel like this is what I'm gonna look like when I die especially like <laughs> on this side because the eyeshadow is starting to create like this solid like stone goblin uh, kind of texture it doesn't feel actually no it does kind of feel kind of hard this side feels so smooth weird anyway this one maybe it's because I built up too much product on this side but I feel like this is what it's gonna look like when I get old. You know like that stupid fucking TikTok filter where it shows you what you're gonna look like old and everyone is just having an existential crisis, myself included, okay. <laughs> That's what I, I feel like. I'm like, oh my God, this is like the TikTok filter and I hate it, I hate it, I hate it. We're gonna try this product again. Not today because I've already committed and I have to go to uh, Krispy Kreme right after this. <laughs> You know, I'm laughing, but that is not, it's not false. Like, if you can understand the reason why I'm so excited this morning is because maybe I'm going to be eating a donut and when I bite into it, mini M&Ms are going to fall out. Listen, my life is, it's in shambles right now. And if this is the thing that I have to look forward to, I don't need anyone judging me for it. So fuck you if you are. And obviously it's because you weren't loved enough. <laughs> Um, I, I'm just gonna look like this. I'm gonna roll up into a Krispy Kreme to go get my donut. I will put the picture here when I do get it. I'm gonna look like I'm from the future, but also the past. <laughs> and I'm gonna freak everybody out and I can't wait. So the next thing I'm gonna move on to, <laughs> the next thing I'm moving on to is eyeliner. And this is the Perfect Strokes Longwear Gel Eyeliner in the shade Compassion. It's just very, is this Compassion? Yeah, Compassion. Um, it's just very funny. Today, today's a funny day. I'm gonna tight line with this and um, if I still feel like I need a little something, I might go and put like a, a little powder liner just to line the top lash line. But we're gonna try to see if we can tight line with this boy. Ooh, the eyeliner, 10 out of 10. It's very creamy. I need a little puff. Uh, I tight lined with this one and I hate it. This eyeliner is not good for those who have watery eyes. Um, It's already like eaten. <laughs> That sucks. Okay, so I can't say that all of them are gonna be like this, but if you are like me and nothing really sticks in your waterline except for like three things, this ain't one of them. Um, that's kind of unfortunate, but it's like, it's showing up really badly on this side. This one I have a, nah, it's starting to do it a little bit more. This one, my stronger eye today, apparently. Uh, it looks a little bit better, but fucker. All right, I knew that was gonna happen. Now let's move on to mascara. So this is from Huda Beauty. This is the One Coat Wow. And <laughs> I wanted to try this because they had a lot of heavy claims. And I was like, you know what? This is this is the mascara for me. I love thi- Oh, oh, okay. Oh, okay. The brush head is very like, looks like there's practically no bristles on it. I love mascaras that are lengthening and provide volume and separate my lashes uh, because I barely have any <laughs> and I don't fuck with false lashes because I don't like glue near my eye. Uh, so we're gonna, ho oh, 
we're gonna hope for the best here. Bitch, this is nice. This is really nice. The only thing that's my complaint right now is that it's a little messy. And I feel like it's super noticeable because I barely have any eyeshadow on. Except, you know, whatever the soul sucking shit is. So, I mean, yeah, it's, it's a little messy. But on the bright side, super, super easy to clean. And I like it. My mascara doesn't look clumpy. Okay. All right. Ahuda. I like the brush. The brush is, I was a little scared, but the brush is very comfortable though. It's messy as fuck. <laughs> um, it's very, very messy. No way around that. I'm gonna go back into the eyeshadow just to try to clean up some of the mistakes. Okay, that looks a little bit better. Okay, you know what? No, I hate this fucking mascara. Okay, forget everything that I said. I hate because look at my eyelashes on this side. I feel like they're so fucking straight out. Ew. How come they don't lift? Where were you before, BB? You were like, oh, okay. What happened? <laughs> like this side's fine, not really. It looks crunchy. Ew, I hate this. I obviously, I need to play with it again, but you're not winning me over. Cause like, yeah, you see how like, it's weird and it's like kind of clumping a little bit. Like what the fuck? Okay, hold on. Let me just add, I shouldn't have to add any more coats. Okay, who who just said one coat? Why does it look like that? Oh my god, it looks like a fucking troll doll hair. Oh my god, it's, it's like gripping some of my lashes but like pulling it so at the bottom it looks like a troll <laughs> troll doll's hair and the tail oh god and they're fusing the tips what the f today is not my this donut better be worth it okay because i'm about to go up into krispy kreme <laughs> Looking psychotic, okay? Looking like I need a nap. I'm gonna put on a lip and we're gonna talk about it. Here's the completed look. <laughs> For lipstick, I use Makeup by Mario, the shade Sam. Beautiful basic bitch, nude color. Okay, let's talk about this. Um, Let's talk about this. First of all, I love my haircut, okay? Love my haircut, love my little blonde moment. I look like such a bitch. Okay. Okay, let's talk about Hourglass. This is good. I like this. I was a little scared. Drunk Me thought I was a three, and I guess Drunk Me is right. I should listen to her more often. And this looks pretty good. I did have a little bit of um, a moment where I was unsure because it's like, oh, <laughs> there's a, a cute little uh, cast uh, on the bottom of my neck, but it's totally fine once I use a little sponge, press the product in, easy peasy lemon squeezy. Everything looks really good. I love how nice and hydrating this feels on the face, and it was comfortable and it didn't settle into my fine lines. Did it erase my redness? No, it didn't. And I wasn't expecting it to because it's a fucking skin tint after all. The fact that it provided me any coverage is a home run. This is really awesome. Can't wait to continue to try this. And I think I'm gonna bring this with me to New York. There's a couple of different things that I wanna bring with me when I fly at the end of this month. And yeah, this is definitely gonna be one of them because I kinda wanna see what this is gonna look like in a big room with a bunch of sweaty nerds. <laughs> Am I gonna look like a melted candle? find out at the end of the month. Uh, my answers are yes, but at least I'll be like a pretty melt of candle. So I love this. This is good. Moving on to the concealer. Yo, bitch, I had higher hopes. I love the HD skin line. I adore the foundation. Well, I really love the original foundation. The new foundation is great as well, but there's just something like iconic about this HD skin line for me. And this I, I I wanted more. Coverage wise, 10 out of 10. Like it really erased the redness in my pimple down here. Did a really good job covering up blemishes and stuff like that. I had some weird uh, redness in my skin earlier. I don't know what the fuck that was about. I think it was called aggression. Uh, <laughs> it did a good job covering it. What I'm not a fan of is how it looks under the eyes. It's kind of drying. And it's one of those formulas where if you put it down, you kind of have to act quickly. Otherwise it kind of just feels dusty and musty. When I left it to bake a little bit Ooh. like and I wasn't even that long it was just me talking for a, a fucking minute and it was just like nope long enough to be like this is kind of gross and it was just such a bummer for me because I wanted it to be more of like a skin finish as opposed to you look like you're wearing a heavy amount of concealer and it's drying and caking and what the fuck this is a product that definitely for me requires to be set with powder because that powder definitely uh locks shit in place but I'm noticing that it's starting to settle into my lines and I fucking hate that so yeah, this is something 
something I'm gonna have to try a couple more times, but it's not really, it's not doing it for me. It's, uh, it's kind of a shame considering I've been finding a lot of good concealers this year. This, I wanted this to be one of them and this is lackluster, if anything. So I'm not happy about that. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention too, uh, with the Hourglass, I did set it with powder. I totally think that I could be okay with not setting it because it was setting down on my face, but it still left me feeling hydrated and good. And it didn't seem like it was transferring or anything like that, but I still kind of have to play with it just to confirm that. But when I mix that skin tint with powder, it was totally fine. Everything still looks really good. Okay, so the next thing is blush. I like it. It's really good. It's very pigmented, like very fucking pigmented. And if you like that sort of thing, then that's great. But if you are someone that is like, oh, I like just like a kiss of blush, you can achieve that with this product. You just have to literally baby the shit out of it. Just like literally pounce your brush in for like a half a second, a nanosecond, and then you'll have enough color to last you for your lifetime. So this is really good. I found the formula to be incredibly easy to work with. I was able to blend it out with my powder brush. It doesn't look too much. It just looks really, really nice. And uh, I was going to do the safe bet today, right? I was going to go in with the more peachier shade that always looks good on me, but I'm glad that I went with the more daring shade uh, to show that even if you do look like me on cooked chicken, you can make it work. So I love it. That's good. I'm very happy that Makeup Forever didn't disappoint me in that arena. Now moving on to the eye stuff. Okay. I feel like I'm going to enjoy this Rare Beauty Cream Eyeshadow, just not the way that I did it. I think it was my fuck up today. I wanted to be one of those girlies that can just have like a wispy, like, and just put like one color on the lid and it's like totally fine. And like, I love that look and it just does not look good on me. I think this product is really just totally meant to put on the lid and nowhere else. When I start to blend it upwards into the brow, it looks like oatmeal. <laughs> It looks like I'm aging at an alarming rate and I need to start making peace with people. You know what I mean? Like, I don't like that. That's not for me. I don't want eyeshadow to show me the monster that I truly am. I wanted to hide that. And I feel like this is emphasizing all the wrong things. I will say though, just using the tip of this as application was very, very easy. Um, but when I started to kind of blend it out with my finger or whatever, I wasn't like a super fan of it. I definitely think the Singe Beauty came to the rescue. This this is the EO2. It's a very good shape if you have hooded eyes. And I found that this product, usually synthetic brushes, I feel like work better with cream as opposed to natural hair brushes, which is brushes that I tend to use more with eyeshadow. This came in clutch as the kids say, or whatever the fuck that meaning is. It was Gucci or whatever. It, came, it worked. <laughs> It worked out better, but I just don't think I like the overall look of it. So I am gonna try this again, but I wanna just use this primarily as like a shimmer. Just a shimmer all over the lid. I'm gonna put some matte eyeshadow down first just to give me a little bit of dimension, something to work with, and then use this to go all over the lid. Because I like the color of it. I just don't think it looks really pretty as like a one shade on me, considering I look like death. So yeah, so that is like a, a to be continued. So moving on to eyeliner. Yeah, I wanted to like that a little bit more. It's definitely, on this side, it's good. Like it looks a lot better. There is some moments where I can see my waterline poking through, but it's not as bad as it is over here where there are like literal chunks of it missing. I'm thinking I'm having a bad eye day. This whole half of my face is just having a bad day, especially with the fucking redness. And it's a temperamental teenager. She's having her fucking moment. I'm sending her to her room without any dinner. Like I'm over it. I don't want to hear her ass anymore. But this side, it looks a little bit better. Um, But still like it's, I don't know. It was, it was like, it wasn't amazing. It was fine. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. Like, I feel like for me, really good eyeliner is something that I don't notice in like immediate lifting. And this, I notice immediate lifting. So I'm going to keep playing with it, but I don't think this is something that I would ever repurchase again or let alone repurchase in any other color because I don't think the formula is anything that special. I feel like I like this more and this made me look like crunchy oatmeal. So... <laughs> Like, mm. I would get another color in this one before I would ever get another eyeliner from them ever again. But yeah, it's disappointing. I'm not, I'm not in love with it. And last but certainly not least, let's talk about the Huda Beauty One Coat Wow. Ironically enough, even though I'm having trouble with the side of the face, I like how the mascara looks. I think the mascara looks really, really pretty. But the more that I look at it, the more I'm like, it kind of looks fucking clumpy. Like clumpy, clumpy, clumpy. On this side of the face, my eyelashes didn't go up. They just went like this. So if I wear my glasses today, my eyelashes are gonna be touching my glasses and it's gonna just make me feel all kinds of uncomfortable. <laughs> and I don't, I don't love that. I don't love that for me. So that is something that 
I'm gonna have to keep playing with because it's so weird. How is one side like this and then one side like this? What the fuck? Like I look like one of those, um, <laughs> like in every horror movie when they show like an antique doll and like the eyes like this and then one eye is open. That's what I look like. Like, I hate that, okay? Like I, I don't like attics, I don't like basements and I feel like I belong in one of them today and I fucking <laughs> hate it. I hate it. But on this side though, I don't mind. I like it. I think it's kind of cute. The other thing that's kind of a, a boner killer is the fact that this is messy as all fuck. The formula is on the wet side. When it's on the wet side, that means it transfers and all on my lid, I have just these little slashings of mascara marks as if it's like Freddy Krueger's little glove. Like, I fucking don't know what happened today. I don't know what happened. I know how to apply mascara, but this product is gaslighting me and making me feel like I've never touched makeup in my whole life. Like, how is that possible? I paid, what, $30 for something to gaslight me. I can't. <laughs> So I'm gonna keep playing with it, you know, because like I wanna win its affection over. But I feel like this product could be good because I was able to achieve this side. This though is concerning me. Oh my, what the hell? The other thing that was like, oh, really fucking annoying to you is that on this side specifically, it would bunch the lashes together where at the bottom, closer to my lash line, all the lashes clumped together and then it would go into a point, kind of like a troll doll's hair. And I was like, what the fuck is going? I've never had that with a fucking mascara. So I don't know, there's something weird about this one. Obviously gonna keep playing with it clearly, but yeah, so far not, it's not winning any awards. So yeah, weird, today was a weird day. <sighs> Anyway, now I want to hear from y'all. Um, let me know down below if you have any of this stuff. And if you do have it and if you've been loving it, if there are any tips or tricks uh, that maybe you want to bestow upon me that maybe I can be more successful. If not, it's fine. Then there's shit products, right? <sighs> anyway, um, yeah, I can't wait to go eat that donut. Walk out the door, you see someone that you know and they ask you how you are and you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would never understand. I wanna say thank you so much <laughs> for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, hit that subscribe button, it's free, and hit that bell icon for notification of all my future posts. Follow me on Instagram, threads, and to my beautiful, wonderful patron and YouTube members, thank you so much for keeping this delicious, disgusting, filthy, trashy, really trashy, really filthy, really trashy, really gross, really nasty, really disgusting, garbage, but afloat. Couldn't do without you. I love your adorable, little delicious faces. And I can't wait to gobble you all up so you live inside my belly and we can be one. If you want to know what's currently in my face, everything that I talked about in today's video will be listed down below. And I will talk to you little pumpkins later. Bye.